this beautiful young woman, a woman of substance, a woman of valor, a, a woman of virtue, please bring your hands together to welcome Mrs. Sharon Matala. So today I'll be interviewing this God-fearing woman. She has worked so hard to fulfill his purpose of existence in this world. I'm not sure whether are we all, do we all our purpose of existence. Have you found your niche in this world? Do you know your gift from the Holy Spirit? Because we are not here visiting. We are here to work. She has found hers. That's why she's working. So let's put our hands together as she greets the church. Amen. 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 I would like to greet everyone in the powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Bishop, Mother Bishop. Those are my parents. Pastor Tapsile. Minister Madonna. Hallelujah. And all the other pastors who are visiting Abangagafigi Pambil. Amen. And the church at large. Amen. Amen. Yeah, as they've said, O Mama, O Asna, O Sharon, Wagamatlala. Wagamatlala. Amen. O Korn, Wagamatlala. Nimbing Elel, Wagamatlala, Kamen, Liga, Jesus. Amen. Yeah, O Korn, O Korn. No, O Korn, Ala Piana, Uya Nizwa. Yamara Nyamaz. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, thank you. We have seen Bab Matlala. Siamaz Bab Matlala. Mam Matlala, we have come a long way up to this far. And to do that, you have to listen to the Holy Spirit. Not only listen, obey, and take an action. Can you give us a background, a, a, a recap of the background of how you have fed in this God fearing woman? Okay. Um, God fearing women is a non profit organization which intends at aiding both women and children, we saw a need in the life of a woman and in the life of a child. Women, uh, whether Christian or not, because now we cannot leave the unbelievers outside, they need to come in here and see what we do so that we can win them to the kingdom of God. So we saw a need that um, we need to attend to women and children as well and we also how we attend to children because you may be surprised because the events involved women how we attend to a child we dress them with school Jesus that's how we involve them we saw a need there and then God fearing women is uh, actually operated by me the founder and I have two other ladies which is Rebecca Matlangu and Zanelisi Kosana they are both in Gauteng. Wow. That's a very good thing that you are doing. You want to tell me that with the proceeds of all the events that you are doing, you take that money and do this by Jesus? Yes, ma'am. Wow. We're actually not looking at making a profit. Mm, that's a good job. You know, there's this theme that you have attached to this organization or to this movement, God-fearing woman. And it's from a scripture, Isaac 31, verse 30. 
Kepa owe sifazane, owe saba unkulunkulu, uya gutunyiswa. Yes, yes, yes. I love the scripture. If maybe you can just explain to us what is a God-fearing woman? Okay, firstly, fearing the Lord will give you wisdom. We find that in Psalm 111 verses 10. And then secondly, fearing the Lord will keep you from sin. That is Exodus 20:20. 20, 20. Then thirdly, thirdly, fearing the Lord will motivate you into evangelism which is actually part of what God-fearing women is all about. We evangelize to all women. And then as our scripture says, this, the key scripture, Proverbs 31, 30, that you just recited now, um, it simply describes that this kind of woman has inner beauty, which surpasses outer beauty. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's the description I have for a God-fearing woman. Wow, that's wonderful, Mama, Tla- Mama Tlala. Let's come back now to your organization. What are the objectives of the organization? Uh, Our objectives is to actually uh, win the souls of women, not that we're discriminating men, but you know, as women, I believe we go through a lot. I don't know if maybe women will agree with me if I say we go through a lot more than men, but uh, our objective is to win women and also to keep a child warm. There is a serious need out there in schools. So how do you do this? We actually do this by organizing events. So far we've had events which were all successful and then we, after each event we normally go, we select schools and then we go and dress those kids. So far, we've dressed so, uh, six schools, yeah. mm. and we launched mm. 20. <laughs> we launched 2017. If you count, it's five events, but we managed to dress an extra school, six schools. Wow, wow. So do you see this as the work, the work of giving? Uh, let me put it this way. As you do this work, are you doing it as a passion to keep away boredom, or do you see this as a gift from God? I would say it's a gift. When you read Romans 12, verse 6, it gives us different gifts according to the grace given to us. So I found myself befitting to that of giving and that of mercy. Wow. So, it is a gift which I believe God has placed me in. Wow. Mrs. Matlala, we have come a long way thus far. Was it an easy road? How, how did you sustain yourself? I know that you've started somewhere in 2017. Um, it hasn't been easy through the years. There are obviously challenges, you know, when you do the work of the Lord. So. Uh, because it's all because you're disturbing the devil's kingdom. Mm. So there will be challenges. So many times I thought to myself, but Asnat, why are you bothering yourself doing this? What do you have to gain? You're not making any profit. Why are you doing this? So as the book of Jeremiah 29 uh, says, I like it in Zulu, it says, Lapo ngiti angsa lake. Wow. In other words, it is in me. If it's, if it's not done, then I feel like, uh, I don't know, have you ever felt like there's something you need to do and you have not done, as if it sits here. So if it's not done, then uh, uh, I feel like I'm owing God because of what he lays in my he, because of what he laid in, in my heart so um, doing this event and getting those children dressed with school Jesus gives me joy and happiness and it fulfills my heart wow wow wow
Yes, nagging as the old bishop at Uma so tolly lubizolak. I live near Tola. Yes, to lay lep so egvo selend. Now, fathers, Gap Tola and Amsanj, put a veil and lent in Jalo. Uma go bizolak, they go to look tall. Yes, Sengu was a man, Jangobang Tatela went to go to Kuluma Manj. You are a young, beautiful woman. You are supposed to be out there doing your things. We are a mother, we are the wife, we have to cook, we are a professional. Where do you get time to do all these things for God? I make time. I have to. As much as other people make time to go wherever for fun, I also have to make time for this. This is, this is where I find joy. Uh, I understand that next week on Saturday, the 26th of November, uh, you are having an event. Can you motivate and encourage a woman that is watching here to come and attend your event? What can you say to that woman that is watching? Okay, to all the women watching this or listening to this, we urge you to please attend. Not for me, not for my team, but for yourself, for your emotional healing and growth as we grow each day on different aspects of life. This is for your personal gain. And also remember, when you secure yourself a seed, it's not only for you, but also for aiding that needy child who needs a Jay-Z. That 350, you know, most women events, they cost 500 up. We said 350 because Bishop gave us the venue for free this year. Bless you, Bishop. So we said, no, there's no need to go 500 up. We just need the 350, which the 200 rands will only cater for that child. The 150 will cater for you, and you won't regret when you leave this house. Yeah, as we conclude, I would like to say, look at the bigger picture. This is not about Mrs. Matlala. This is about the work of God. I think all of us should yearn to have the gift of showing mercy, gift of giving. Because God does not come on planet Earth to give school children Jesus. God does not come on planet Earth to give destitute families food and shelter. He touches people. He wants people who are like Umam Matlala to do something about it. If you don't go and attend the event, you can just donate the 350 or pay the 350 for somebody to attend. You are going to benefit because all the women that will be teaching there, you are going to be empowered. At the same time, your money is going to go for a good cause. Remember Proverbs 19 verse 17 says, when you give for a good cause, it's like you are loaning God. And God doesn't forget his debt. He pays it in full. So I'm aging all of you. Let's tell our families, let's all go there to glorify God. Your 350 is going to glorify God because you are going to pay the 350. The 350 is going to buy a jersey for a school child for next year. So I'm aging you. It's not about us, Nati. It's, it's not about the family of Matlala. This money is go not going to enrich them, but it's going to ease off feza, ipepos, ankulunkul. It's going to glorify God. Remember, we are all members of the church. The body of Christ cannot walk without legs. You are the legs that are needed now to fulfill 
the, the, the event that is on the 26th. Amen. If you run away with your legs, what will happen to this body of Christ? I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mary. We kindly appreciate them for the last time. Amen, Bazalane. What I've learned from this engagement, better know your purpose of existence, know your gift from the Holy Spirit. Being a God-fearing woman, it allows you to have wisdom, it keeps you away from sin, and also it motivates you. Always be led by the Holy Spirit at all times so that your, your heart can be fulfilled. Make time for what is important. And lastly, what is important is the events that is also going to take place where you're also going to attain emotional healing. You will be restored and it's only for 350. Just one more, Bazalwane. Let's appreciate them and thank God for them. Hallelujah. Amen. As Kassin Samanja, we're going to hear the word of God. But before we hear the word of God, allow me to share now of what happened in the 1800 during the men of God that were preaching at that time. So before Mr. Maduna comes in, I want to share with you that during that era, those men were not entirely allowed to share the word of God, especially if you were a black man. And um, what was dominant was music. There was so much into music. There was so much jazz. The industry was filled with so much music. And even there was so much into fashion. Upishop, it's funny now because he's wearing a chain. Um, yes, they will, share, they will share the word, but it will be so secretive in certain spaces. But today we are able to have men of God that are not only um, wear fashionable clothes or wear chains, but they are led by the Holy Spirit. And we are so blessed today to have a Mr. Maduna to come and share the word of God that is not only going to say, um, I was sent by myself, but we know that he was sent by God and it is God who's going to speak through him. Hallelujah. And with that being said, I'm going to allow the worshiping team to just share um, a song of worship as he's coming forward to share what God has um, bestowed upon his life. And we pray that Nkulunkulu may speak through his oracles through him so that we may all come off, out of this place revived, restored, and healed in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 